what did you think of the job Herman did to keep you in the game and go on to give you six innings? Yeah, I mean, a remarkable performance considering how that first inning unfolded. You know, to, to go punch out and then to have the ball pop out of Gardy's glove there and then the bloop double by, or the broken bat double by Ramirez and, you know, ball just out of the reach or off the glove of uh, 40. Um, and then he doesn't handle a ball back to him, which which actually is what hurt him, frankly, in the Toronto game, his first start of the year. A couple of comebackers he couldn't handle. Um, and, and to have the pitch count where it was, it's one of those, are, are you going to have to get somebody up in the first? And he just settled in and got incredibly pitch efficient and just gave us a huge outing. Um, and then a lot of a lot of good things happened from there. And, and proud of the guys for not, you know, because that first inning with, with what we've been going through, um, they didn't let it snowball and, and really did a lot of good things the rest of the way. Just what were you thinking, considering what this team has been going through over the last couple of weeks as things are unfolding during that first inning and not going in your direction? Yeah, certainly there's some frustration there in the first inning, but, um, you know, I thought, <clears throat> I thought the guys did a really good job of just kept on competing and, and I thought, you know, up and down the lineup, there were a lot of really competitive at bats, some important at bats, some some at bats where we we came through with some things where it's been a struggle for us. Um, and then obviously, you know, behind Domingo, a really good job by the bullpen. You know, I thought I thought between Rugi and, and Glaber up the middle, they made some some good plays defensively. So it was just, you know, what started out obviously very rough turned into a really good night. You mentioned Glaber offensively on base three times tonight. What was different about his approach or what he was able to do at the plate? Um, I feel like I've seen him games where where I feel like this is coming. Um, you know, the last couple weren't great. Um, and it was, you know, it's just been when he has had games where I feel like he's getting his A swing, it's been foul ball or... You know, that fly ball he hit to right field, maybe his first step was that his first or second at bat where that's a pitch that he usually, you know, sticks in the gap or does some damage with. And I just felt like he was putting that ball in play on a line tonight when he got a pitch to handle. Um, and, and I just thought it took really good at bats all night long. Respect, go ahead and unmute. Aaron, uh, some more on Glaber. What about the way that he responded after what happened yesterday? Uh, how, how do you look at that? Yeah, I mean, he's – look, Glaber's been working. Glaber cares, and he knows, He knows, like a lot of these guys, as I continue to say, they know deep down how good a player they, they, they are and, and will be. And, uh, you know, sometimes you got to go through some junk to, to, to get to the – to get through and to punch through. And I, I just thought he played very much under control today. I thought he played the game with some joy. And, you know, when he's doing that, you know, he's a dangerous guy. Seven different guys got hits. How different is it than just having one guy contributing in the lineup? And that's been the case a few times in the last week or so. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. I mean, you know, in our win the other night against Atlanta, you know, I felt like there was a lot of contributions in that. And the same same tonight, obviously on the pitching side of things, but up and down the lineup, you know, even even the guys that didn't have big offensive nights, um, you know, contributed in 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 some way, shape or form to allow us to break through a little bit and, and actually, you know, put up a good number uh, on the offensive side. Brendan Cuddy, go ahead. How encouraging was it to see, I think you guys loaded the bases three times tonight, multiple base runners and a bunch of innings. Just you guys hadn't really hadn't had that in a while. Yeah, that's us, you know, and, you know, um, you know, the, that's what we're about is giving ourselves chances. And obviously you're not going to come through every time, but the more opportunities, the more pressure you're putting on the defense and the, and the opposing pitcher and making them make stressful pitches, you know, over time and eventually we're going to we're going to break through and you know those that's when you're you're able to put up some good offensive numbers so very encouraging you know after last night you know it, at least 
you know, we started to create a little bit of traffic. I think we walked five or six times last night, even though it was a tough offensive night on a cold night. And today, you know, I felt like there was a kind of that team at bat thing going on where, you know, it wasn't I have to do it all by myself. It was let me go up and have a good at bat. And hopefully, you know, this is something we can continue to build on. And would you have had Geo late tonight? And do you expect him to play tomorrow? Uh, I think I think he'll probably be in there tomorrow. Yes, um, he was more emergency tonight. Thank you, Eric Bolin. Go ahead, Aaron. You've talked since your first year about controlling the zone. What does nine walks tell you tonight? Now we ended up with nine. Um, yeah, I mean that's a hallmark of our success. You know, talk about hits and stuff all the time, but. It's about getting on base and about creating traffic and giving yourself opportunities. Um, and then, you know, you know, I think eventually our power is gonna gonna show up. And and the bottom line is, the more times we're getting on base and creating that traffic, um, you know, that's that's when we're gonna able, be able to score in big time ways. And um, that's who we are, and that's who we have to be. And. Uh, um, it was good to see us, you know, follow up, frankly, last night where, you know, I thought we took a lot better bats late in that game to give ourselves a little bit of a chance, um, you know, to follow that up tonight with more competitive at bats. Hopefully it's 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 the guy starting to starting to roll a little bit. And is, is Kyle forcing his way into the lineup or forcing himself into consideration more? Yeah, I mean, look, I, I, I even go back to last year and a lot of the conversations about you know him getting in there and obviously getting getting to play some in the playoffs is is about you know his performance you know i mean he's he's a really good catcher we've seen the bat continue to improve and improve and yeah he's creating more opportunities for himself